architecture. It's architecture. To make sure that a building is built with precision. Architects make a lot of decisions. Will it be an office? A store? A home? Be built out of steel? Have an arch or a dome? It's architecture. It's architecture. Should it have an elevator? How many floors? How many chimneys? And how many doors? It's architecture. It's architecture. Should it hold a hundred people? One family or two? It looks great to me. How's it look to you? I hate it. I think it's a superb building. And it looks like a plumbing system without a building. I think it's a monstrosity. I uh, quite like it. It doesn't mix in with what's around it. Well, I think it's got its outside off and its inside in. It's architecture! It's architecture! So check out your street, your building too! There's something every day that's all around you called architecture! Light, but strong. Architects have many ways of making things light, but strong. Here's one way. Check this out. Take this beam. It's about three feet long and three by six inches. Now, do you think that this beam is strong enough to support this 50 pound weight? Yes? No? Well, let's find out. David? Hi. The weight, please? Of course. It did it. The beam can support the 50 pound weight, but do we need all this wood for this weight? Let's find out what happens if we remove most of the wood. David? is now thinner and lighter. But let's see if it's still strong enough to support the 50 pound weight. David? Hey, it did it. See, it's amazing, but true. The beam lost a lot of its wood, but hardly any of its strength because of its special shape. It's now called an I beam because it's shaped like a capital I. Yeah, but what do we do with the wood we took off? Make other beams. Oh. In fact, steel I-beams like this one are the basic building blocks of buildings, bridges, and all kinds of things. It's amazing. But true. 